Hello everyone, this is Timo here. So today we're going to implement one of the most important features in a web application, in particular React application. So we're going to be using React on what we're going to be building today, right? Have you ever built your application and um, your application actually authenticates users? Like when users come on your application, they are actually required to sign in. So you, you could have an application like mine where you can sign in, then you are directed to private routes. Okay, I'm going to open a few tabs here, right? So maybe the challenge that you have experienced is that when you try to sign out from this particular tab here, right? When you say, try to sign out from this particular tab, the, the remaining tabs they don't actually get to be signed out right so let me click sign out on this first tab here I'm going to click sign out so obviously when I sign out on this tab I'm logged out redirected to the signing tab right but that's not the case on these other tabs here they're still logged in so this is a not so good user experience and also it's also a security concern on your uh, website or web application so you would want to prevent uh, this from happening so what we're going to have today is actually we're going to use uh, what is called broadcast channel api right so let me show you where it's actually working already here right so we're going to build this um, feature right using broadcast uh, broadcast channel API right so the end result is when users sign in they're authenticated get to see their private you know uh, dashboard or private routes and if they open multiple tabs like this like what I'm doing right now okay let me open that and let me wait for them to actually load okay then when all the tabs are open and all the tabs are authenticated actually and they are private routes which are visible on each and every tab if a user signs out from any of the tab they should be logged out from the remaining tabs actually right so let me try to do that so i'm going to sign out click sign out here and just watch happens on these other tabs here so i click sign out and the other tabs are actually logged out as well right so this is something that we are going to be building together right so if you are ready let's go ahead and uh, build something like that so i'm just going to you know close these tabs here right okay then i'm left with uh, this one way that feature is not yet implemented right so go ahead uh, and open your favorite te text editor mine is visual studio code and go ahead and actually clone this repo here so you can go to the link provided in the description go ahead and clone this project here right so open your terminal type in git clone so you can just navigate to where you want your project to be on your local machine right so mine it's fine with it easier in users git clone and actually you know paste in that link to clone uh, the, the project hit enter so once you're done uh, once it's done cloning actually navigate where to where the project is so the name of the project is react slash dash slash v1 right so actually you can go ahead and cd change directory to that folder once you're in that folder you can go to the terminal again and run 
npm install to install the dependencies right so once you install the dependencies you should have a project structure which looks like this so you should have let me close this you should have a project structure which looks like this which has got four folders auth components layouts and pages and also the app.js and the index.jx and these other folders and your package.json should look like that right so me i've already installed this uh, particular you know dependency here that we you should also install on your um, uh, i think it's already installed or you can actually install it if it's not installed already on your project right so the dependency we are using is actually um, this broadcast channel so you can just go ahead and install that dependency right so once you're done installing let's navigate and go inside the auth folder and go to the auth.js right so we're going to tweak this code here we're going to add uh, a little bit of you know a few lines of code here so that we can be able to utilize the broadcast channel dependency right so i'm going to actually i've done installing the broadcast uh, channel uh, dependencies already in my project so what i'm just going to do i'm going to import it inside my auth.js here so i'm going to type import uh, broadcast channel right so this is the one we're looking for right so once you're done installing actually create an instance now for that channel this is this is how you do it you create an instance so that instance we're going to call it log out channel right and it's going to be new broadcast channel broadcast channel open parenthesis and the name of our channel is going to be called log out right so i'm going to put a link of the uh, documentation where you can read more about broadcast channel okay then on on the existing logout uh, function here we're going to tweak it so what we're going to do on the instance that we just created logout channel logout channel we're going to say logout channel dot post message post message right which is the method so we're going to say logout so what we're doing here is actually uh, sending a message to all the other tabs um, on the same host on the same port uh, to say this is what we're doing now we're logging out now right so the host is your local machine where you know your application is running and the port on mine is port 3000 so on yours it might be any port that you just configured maybe port 3002 or port 5000 right then lastly we're going to say export we're going to create a, a new function here so this function we're going to use it in the app.js so i'm going to say log out all tabs log out all tabs so it's a function um right that's our function and we're going to call that in instance again log out channel now here we're going to create a dot on message function and on message what are we telling uh, the rest what what are we telling the rest of the tabs what we are about to do now is to actually log out okay log out so that's why we call this function to log out right log out once we're done logging out, then we're going to close the instance now, the logout channel instance. Right. Logout.close. Right. Just like that. Okay. So like I said, we're going to export this, uh, 
this function in our app.js so let's go in our app.js so before import we're going to wrap it around use effect so use effect use effect right make sure you import uh, use effect from react okay. they have imported it from react then let's go ahead and import the log out or tabs function in here then we're going to call this function here right okay so that's all you need with respect with regards to you know the the code that you should write so now let's go to our application and let's try it okay so what we're going to do we're going to sign in on this first tab here click sign in we are authenticated we're in our private routes we can see our dashboard let's open a couple of tabs here right I've opened uh, four more tabs let me wait for them to actually load right okay all of them they are they've loaded now and um, I can be able to see private routes so let me go to the last tab and let me sign out you can sign out either here or you can sign out from this angle let me use this angle this time around let me click sign out here and as you can see all the other tabs are actually refreshing which means they're actually logging out so if I go on this tab here it's actually logged out same applies to this tab here it's actually log, logged out as well right so this is how you can uh, implement you know this feature in your react application right tell me what you think in the comments below if you like this video please subscribe and give me a like and also give me a star on github i'll really appreciate it. thank you very much